The privilege of a lifetime is to become who you truly are, Carl Gustav Jung. Imagine standing at the edge of adulthood, yet feeling an invisible force pulling you back to the shores of youth, where responsibility is a foreign concept and the world seems a playground meant for endless exploration. This is the realm of the puer eternus, the eternal child, a psychological phenomenon that Carl Jung brought to light, revealing how the allure of eternal youth can become a gilded cage, stifling growth and maturity. In this video, we'll journey into the heart of this archetype to understand its grip on modern adulthood and how to break free, embarking on the path to true self-discovery and fulfillment. Welcome to Pondering Psyche, where we dive into psychology, philosophy, and big ideas that make you go, hmm. Today, we explore a compelling archetype that resides within us all, the puer eternus, or the eternal child. Coined by Carl Jung, this concept sheds light on the shadow that dances on the edge of our consciousness, the part of us that resists the passage into the demanding world of adulthood. In every adult, there lurks a child, an eternal child, something that is always becoming, is never completed, and calls for unceasing care, attention, and education. That is the part of the human personality which wants to develop and become whole. Carl Jung. But why should the puer eternus matter to you? Because it represents the silent struggle many face in transitioning from the carefree days of youth to the responsibilities of adult life. This archetype isn't just a figure of myth. It's a living aspect of our psyche, influencing our decisions, our relationships, and our path to personal fulfillment. As we peel back the layers of this archetype, we encounter its dual nature, its entanglement with the mother complex and the societal epidemic it has spawned in our modern age. Through the insights of Carl Jung and Marie-Louis von Franz, we embark on a quest to understand the barriers to growth and how to integrate the shadow for a richer, more authentic life. Join us as we navigate delicate balance between the charm of youth and the wisdom of maturity, illuminating a path to true individuation and wholeness. The eternal child in myth and psyche. The concept of the puer eternus traces back to figures like Iacchus in ancient Greek mythology, a divine representation of perpetual youth. The term itself is first mentioned in the classic narrative poem Metamorphosis, the magnum opus of the Roman poet Ovid. A more modern pop psychology label for the archetype is also known as Peter Pan Syndrome, as an homage to the famous literary character who refused to grow up. Carl Jung adopted this mythological framework to articulate a psychological phenomenon observed in adults who, despite their physical age, are mentally and emotionally stunted, often manifesting in a reluctance to take on age-appropriate responsibilities. Quote, the eternal child in man is an indescribable experience, an incongruity, a handicap, and a divine prerogative, an imponderable that determines the ultimate worth or worthlessness of a personality. Carl Jung. Jung posited that those who exhibit characteristics of inappropriate youthfulness did so due to an unresolved mother complex. The mother complex, as described by Jung, entails an unconscious attachment to the mother figure. Why is an unconscious attachment to the mother figure a potential problem for an adult individual? Because attachment to parental figures leads to challenges in the individuation process, a term Jung coined to describe the journey towards self-realization and wholeness. The duality of the puer eternus archetype. Carl Jung highlighted the dual nature of the puer eternus archetype, which can manifest both positively and negatively in an individual's life. On one hand, it embodies the vitality, splendor, and imagination of youth, bringing a sense of renewal and vigor to adult life. On the other hand, it can also result in a perpetual state of immaturity, where one is ensnared in the illusions of adolescence and fails to engage with the reality of adult life, thus inhibiting self-realization. Jungian analyst Marie-Louis von Franz explains this, writing that the puer figure has, quote, the romantic outlook on life, opposed to the cynics, the old man figure such as the king. The puer represents a possibility of an inner creative renewal, 
of a first realization of the self, but because of a certain weakness of the ego and an insufficient or lacking differentiation of the anima, these puer figures become a lure into death or madness or both. Marie-Louis von Franz. In this way, von Franz illustrates how the negative aspect of the archetype leads to a life filled with the illusions of naive adolescence and experience of life perceived as a prison devoid of true progress. Common indicators of the eternal youth mindset include dreams filled with images of confinement, such as being shackled, caged, or trapped. Existence in its very essence feels like an enclosure. Life itself, existential reality, is experienced as a prison, standing in stark contrast to the perceived feelings of freedom, youthfulness, and vigor. These dualistic constraints represent the subconscious bonds to the carefree realm of youth, the unconscious ties to the free and unfettered world of early childhood. The Puer's struggle with commitment and growth. The Puer's inherent struggle with commitment and personal growth is illuminated in the work of von Franz, who describes the archetype as one that prolongs adolescent psychology into later life stages. This is characterized by a resistance to maturation and a tendency to shun responsibilities, a trait common in youths but maladaptive when carried into adulthood. These individuals can be thought of in Jungian terms as living in the shadow of the mother complex and are often crippled by an inability to commit, be it in professional settings, relationships, or educational pursuit. The consequence is a life path that lacks direction and success with potential and talent lying dormant and unutilized. Maternal overprotection and emotional enmeshment. A significant factor contributing to the puer eternus condition is the overprotection and emotional enmeshment provided by the mother figure. This dynamic where the mother is excessively involved in the life of the child, often out of a desire to nurture and protect, can result in a detrimental mother complex. Such maternal dominance, as posited by Jung, leads to dependency and an evasion of the necessary trials and tribulations of adulthood. The affected individual, instead of moving towards independence, remains stuck in the perceived safety of the maternal bond. This precludes the development of autonomy and the ability to face life's challenges head-on, ultimately stalling the individuation process and leaving the person ill-equipped to navigate the adult world. Confronting and integrating the shadow. The shadow, Jung writes, is a moral problem that challenges the whole ego personality, Carl Jung's collective works. The process of confronting and integrating the shadow is a pivotal step in overcoming the puer eternus complex. It involves the recognition of the transient nature of existence, which the puer tends to avoid. This avoidance often manifests as a reluctance to fully commit to experiences stemming from a fear of inevitable disappointment or failure. Jung believed that integrating the shadow, acknowledging and embracing both the positive and negative aspects of self is essential for wholeness. By engaging with this darker aspect of the psyche, one can move toward a life of authenticity, depth, and fulfillment a call to action against a modern epidemic. The proliferation of the puer eternus archetype within modern culture demands our attention. This phenomenon is especially visible in realms like geek culture, where not only men but also women immerse themselves in comic cons and gaming culture. However, this is not to dismiss the value or enjoyment that can be found in cosplaying, indulging in comics, fantastical stories, and related activity. These pursuits have their place and can enrich our lives by sparking creativity and offering a respite from the mundane. Yet, it's crucial to reflect on the amount of energy invested in these hobbies and whether they might be veiling an avoidance of adult responsibilities. The question posed is whether these interests might distract us from cultivating the skills and resilience needed to navigate the complexities of the world as an individuated adult. The goal is clear, to foster a path towards genuine fulfillment and a purposeful life, one must bravely face the trials and tribulations of reality. This means wholeheartedly embracing responsibilities, striving for self-reliance, and confronting life's challenges directly.
Ultimately, the aim is to inspire a collective progression towards maturity and self-sufficiency, challenging the enticement of retreating into the comforting yet confining embrace of youthful escapades. As we conclude our introduction to Jung's concept of the puer eternus, remember that this is merely the beginning of a larger exploration into the depths of the psyche. If today's journey into the world of the puer eternus has sparked a flame of curiosity within you, let's keep that flame alive by clicking on this video for a deep dive into how Carl Jung's concept of the shadow can help you uncover and integrate the hidden parts of yourself leading to a more authentic and fulfilling life. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more psychological and philosophical content to improve your quality of life and unlock the mysteries of your inner world.